Hi everyone, no major news today, so let's get straight into the data. Do me a quick favor and like and subscribe and watch the video till the end to help out the channel, and let's get started. So looking at Max Payne, we stepped down to a 47 from a 52 here today. Markets were pretty tame. Despite that, we did see the fear and greed index continue to roll down a little bit. Momentum has moved into fear, interesting. Strength continuing to hover. This metric's been kind of weird here recently. And then breadth still hovering as well in extreme greed. This is because we're seeing that market broadening, still seeing that happen. Put call ratio jumping here again today. VIX actually pulled back a little bit with markets staying relatively calm. Safe haven demand still in greed while junk bonds continue to hover in extreme fear. Moving over to initial jobless claims, those came in a little bit better than expected. Some interesting news there with the jobs data coming in light relative to what we saw in the previous. Global composite PMI, global services PMI also doing well. ISM manufacturing PMI quite good. Non-manufacturing prices would have wanted to see that cool a little bit. Fed balance sheet shed 10 billion, nothing crazy there. And then don't forget tomorrow is the big one here with the unemployment data, non-farm payrolls. Expectation is 4.2% down from a 4.3. If this happens, I think markets rally. If we come in flat or worse, markets are going to fall pretty sharply in my opinion. So we'll see how that plays. Jobs data big for tomorrow. Moving over to Max Payne, you can see put wall at 550 and that is basically right where we're at. Bottom of the call is right in that same range. Max Payne is 555, so maybe you see a slight jump tomorrow. Maybe the jobs data comes in flat and markets are fine, but I think this is going to be interesting. I think it could give us enough momentum to push through the downside. Total options, not a ton at 700,000. Put call ratio relatively low at a 2. Moving over to the charts, starting off with the S&Ps, you can see we did get a negative day, 0.3%. Still hovering in the zone, we're still looking for that unemployment data tomorrow. I think that's going to determine direction. We did get below that 21 EMA, still holding VWAP, touch that there. You can see the next trend is still sitting down here. Let's go ahead and extend add out just a little bit. Right in there, trend support sitting around 54.33. Momentum still bearish, RSI still bearish, so still looking for a little bit of down move. That's about a percent and a quarter. If we get bad data tomorrow, I think we're going to cover all of that. You can see the last time we got bad data, we got huge gaps down, ended up being very substantial down to these lower trends if we got a move like that that would be about another five and a half five and three quarters percent downside so something to consider markets still look quite bearish even though the hesitation going into the news release and then looking at the short term levels here you can see we did dip down made a new relative low recovered slightly hit the 21 selling off a little bit after hours nothing crazy and then looking at that daily chart here on the s p's you can see there's a little bit of support in here about 0.6 lower in terms of levels we broke that 550 12 level trend support at 545.26 again I think we're going to cover all that that's about a percent down to that 544 area so continues to look bearish rolling lower into the news release Moving over to the tasty charts here for the S&Ps, you can see we are still looking at that rollover, still looking for a test of those ATR trailing stops, which are at 541.47, so hanging right in there, still been flat over the last couple days, still trending towards there, momentum still bearish, everything looks like we're trending to that, and then below it you got the 55 EMA at 539.07, then looking at that 4 hour chart you can see lowest ATR band sitting at 544.70, that's what we're looking for down here. Probably going to trend at least to that tomorrow. We'll see how it plays based on the data, but this continues to look like a downtrend. Still cannot get above that 8 EMA on the 4-hour chart. Moving over to the NASDAQ, NASDAQ is still hanging out at this level. They say it was slightly positive, but it was basically flat. Momentum still bearish here, RSI still bearish here. Looking for a test of that 144 EMA, which is sitting at 18,669. And again, that's about a percent and a quarter down move. If that zone breaks, then the 200 is your next level, just like we saw on this previous move, which would take you about 4% lower. So something to watch there. Markets continue to look weak, clear divergence, clear selling off from this previous high. So markets look weak despite this consolidation, probably just a slight pullback in time after this big down move, similar to this. Could see consolidation, maybe a one more brief up move and then a continuation lower. Overall, same thesis as yesterday, pretty much the same price action as yesterday as well. Holding this 458.24 level, and you can see those zones here just consolidating wicked that 464.50 level just like yesterday
yesterday, came back, tested support just like yesterday. So it's hanging in here, probably consolidation, pull back in time, waiting for the next down move. 454.40 is the next level, which is right in line with that 144 EMA here on the NASDAQ. Moving over to the Russell and the Dow, you can see the Russell was down about a half a percent, still holding that 55 EMA at 211.26 finished at 211.93, just below the level, which is not great. So still needs to hold this zone, certainly still could, but momentum and RSI are now bearish there, especially with the continuation here today. And then looking at the Dow, this looks like a more solid topping pattern at this point. It is still a higher high, and we did top out there without touching that trend there, which is a little bit concerning. But either way, this is a continuation sell, about a half a percent momentum bearish, RSI bearish. So everything across markets says that we're probably going a little bit lower over the next couple of days, maybe next couple weeks but who knows we'll see how it plays after the data tomorrow moving over to the mag 7 you can see it was up 1.24 percent strong move there for the mag 7 also interestingly we can see momentum stepping towards bullish it's still in this wedge pattern still can't get above this trend line here but tesla pulling this up a little bit here today we talked about it yesterday and it did get the continuation here today momentum giving this a little bit of hope for a potential break to the upside and it definitely looks better today than it did yesterday moving over to apple Apple and Microsoft really these did not move very much at all 0.69 to the upside tested that resistance rejected from there. momentum still bearish RSI still bearish so still in this range 217.62 up to 224.36 touch the bottom touch the top now we're waiting for direction and then looking at Microsoft 0.12 to the downside momentum still bearish RSI still bearish still looking for this to flow to the downside maybe it's too obvious maybe that's why we're still hanging out here waiting for that catalyst tomorrow moving over to Tesla and and Nvidia Tesla did exactly what we thought it was going to do gapped and rallied to hit the price target at 232.57 momentum bullish RSI bullish if we get a break here then you're looking for 255 and there could be a lot of room in here just like we saw in this previous move big gap through this level big gap next level so something to watch here Tesla looks good this is still a low higher low setup still very strong here now it's a higher high from this previous little dip high so overall Tesla looks good going into tomorrow Nvidia managed to stay positive about 1% got back above the 106.64 area momentum still bearish RSI still bearish so still being patient here, but you could try to trade off of that 106.64 level. It is technically below it after hours. So you want to see it get back above that and push to this next trend around 114.66 if it's going to do it. Moving over to Amazon and Alphabet, these continue to look pretty much the same. Amazon got a little bit of a bounce, solid 2.63%. 200 SMA continues to hold as support at 172.88. Got a bounce above the level. Looks like a pretty clean breakout, similar to what we saw on Friday, but that ended up not getting the continuation. Maybe we get it now after that second push. The retest, the continuation, seems like it looks better. Momentum bullish, RSI bullish there on Amazon. And then looking at Google, this continues to look pretty terrible here. Year. It was positive on the day, about half a percent, 200 hanging in there as potential support at 158.09. Caught a bounce from there. It's selling a little bit after hours. Momentum bearish, RSI still bearish. This could be interesting. It is a strong zone at the 200, but if that breaks, I do think there's a lot of room. So watching that very closely, bullish above it, bearish below it. Moving over to staples and discretionaries. Got a little bit of a pullback in staples. Finally, again, spent a rocket ship, still price discovery. Did wick a new high technically momentum fading a little bit RSI telling us that this is probably overbought it did dip below the SMA there just barely we've seen it before but this is at a very high level the SMA is at 71.52 you don't see that super often especially on staples and then looking at discretionaries catching a bounce from Amazon and Tesla momentum bullish RSI bullish so looks like this is going to push back to that 189.38 level Moving over to lumber and gold. We've been watching this for a bit. I've been skipping it because it really hasn't been doing much. You can see we had a little bit of a pullback consolidation at this trend. Fake out, breakout, pullback, holding the higher low potentially here at this consolidation zone, but nothing crazy. Our size broken, SMA selling off. So doesn't look super great. And then similarly with gold, hasn't done much at all. You can see we've been in this zone all the way since mid-August. Same level here all the way to the 5th of September. So still in the zone, waiting to see if we get a breakout. It was a pretty good day coming off of the 21 EMA. If it's going to break, you'd want to see it here pretty soon. We did see a step towards bullish, so that's a nice indicator. Maybe we get that continuation here on gold tomorrow, especially coming off of that 
unemployment data. Maybe this is the catalyst for that move. Moving over to 20 and 50 day breadth. Got that continuation down. That's three days in a row of big movement to the downside. Very bearish momentum. RSI is getting pretty low. Gap through the level, took out a bunch of SMAs. Similarly here on the 50 day, let's go ahead and extend out that trend line. Touch the trend line, touch the 200, broke the 21. Momentum bearish, RSI bearish. Both are below the 50 line as well. So market breadth continues to collapse, but we haven't seen stock price go with it over the last two days. So probably going to see that break to the downside tomorrow. Moving over to the dollar here, you can see we got another continuation down after yesterday's move down. This is in anticipation of the data tomorrow. The dollar is likely to fall with that bad unemployment data, which is going to lead to rate cuts, which is weakness for the dollar. Looking for a retest of this trend line here around 100.7. Momentum rolling to bearish. RSI looking for a retest of that SMA. See what happens once that happens. Probably still going to hold either a slightly higher low or a double bottom here. I think the dollar is going to find a little bit of strength. I still like this push looking for the whole here, but probably going to go lower before that happens. Moving over to the two year and the 10 year, the 10 year actually broke down here today. We were talking about this level yesterday, broke through that, continuing to sell. That's again in anticipation of that data tomorrow. Everyone thinks it's going to be weak in my opinion. And then looking at the two year, same thesis, continuing to sell off, new relative low on a closing basis to this previous low. Momentum bearish, RSI bearish, still inverted, which is crazy. Just about 100th at this point. I still think we're gonna close this week in a normalized condition. So we'll see how it plays in tomorrow's session but still hovering basically even between the two year and the 10 year. Moving over to bonds, JNK and TLT both had strong days. JNK back above the level 96.51. I guess this uptrend has a little bit more in it. Step towards bullish on the momentum. Probably going to at least get a retest of that RSI. We'll see how that plays. And then looking at the TLT here, you can see 105 is the level. Looking to eclipse this previous move. About a half a percent higher. Momentum swinging to bullish. RSI swinging to bullish. So bonds continue to look good. Moving over to the VIX. Did see a slight pullback here today. Nothing crazy. Still holding these levels here. I still think we're going to push higher tomorrow. Momentum is still bullish. RSI is still bullish. So... No change to the thesis, just looks like a slight pullback. Moving over to my accounts, it said I lost money, but I think this is with that after hours move here. You can see the NASDAQ fell. I think it was Broadcom earnings that actually pulled the market down just a little bit at the end of the session. About $1.50 there, which does fit with this kind of down move. You can see that after hours move, about $200, which is about what I made on the day. And you can see this covered call that I have still in negative territory. That should be in positive with that down move. So we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow. Either way, still relatively neutral on the deltas not sure why the deltas aren't showing there but you can see them here 18 and 91 deltas probably too bullish on the queues going into tomorrow's session probably should have taken those off a little bit maybe sold the 459s for tomorrow but we'll see how it plays three dollars 58 cents on those calls for tomorrow on the queues and then looking at the iwm sold the 211 for two dollars 50 cents that is basically flat after hours again in the money on that one just trying to be a little bit cautious can always roll out if i need to overall basically the same today as i was yesterday makes sense with the price action being basically flat and then we'll make adjustments off of what we see in the unemployment report let me know down in the comment section what you think the unemployment rate will do tomorrow is it going to be good or bad for markets probably hard to believe that it's going to be good at this point but let me know anyway definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. Good luck in your trading and have a great day.